going on everybody thanks for tuning in my name is Mel dark side of the grill hope you're hitting subscribe checking me out following along on all these fun barbecuing and grilling adventures today's a special day one we've got these beautiful cubed up little beef ribs look at the marbling on these guys beef ribs guess how we're doing we're doing them on the big green egg in the cast iron in the cast iron pay attention we're gonna season these guys up with the brand new Sasquatch Sam Squid Spiceology Black Truffle Rub. It's got that beautiful charcoal thing happening there. I cannot wait to get this going. So here we go. Oh. Boom. I'm gonna bring you in here. So follow along. There we go. Cast iron on the big green egg is always one of my most favorite things to do. Alright. I'm gonna hit these up. Look at that. Oh, it's like coal. Like coal. Look at that. Oh, and I can instantly smell that black truffle. That's what we're talking about right there. Roll these around a little bit. And then guess what? We're gonna hit them again. Gonna hit them again. A little dust. A little dusty dust, dusty dust. Oh. And then, for this low and slow cook, I want to put the ball bones down. Bones down to start, wherever you can. Bones down. Right, and in there, for fun, drizzle that Evolution garlic olive oil. Gonna drizzle her more, more so for the pan have to pick more of that stuff up. More so for the pan. Now the fat's gonna render down in these anyway and stick into that pan and that's fine. I just want to get enough of that rub on here. Get that flavor sticking. Get these guys nice and spaced out. And then one more time. One more time with that Sasquatch. It's like a black gold. Look at it. Look at it. Oh man. This is gonna be so good. I'm for sure gonna hit that again and again with this. This is gonna be the money on the big green egg. And we're gonna throw some wood chunks in here in a couple seconds just to get this smoking a bit. So stay tuned for that. All right, we're in the middle of the cook and now we wanna add some smoke to it. Last minute game change, that's fine. I'm gonna show you in the middle of the game how we can get away with this. I couldn't find my chunks, we're gonna do some chips. That's okay too, everything's always on the fly. When you're barbecuing, that's okay. We're gonna use our grill tool. Grill tool always help. Slide that cast iron out of the way. Get that grill grate out of the way. And now look at that, we're gonna lean this guy up. We're gonna lean that heat plate up. Grab a handful of these beautiful wood chips. And we're gonna mix it up. Mix it up just a little bit. Get this thing just a smoke. There we go. Plate, heat plate back down. Grill tool. Bang, grill grate, bang, cast iron, and we're smoking. Back in the game, no stress, no problem. Big green egg, I absolutely love them. That expander unit, man, it's a lifesaver. And guess what, these beef ribs are gonna be money. Stay tuned. All right, we're like halfway into this cook. I've been checking it out. These beautiful beef ribs are coming along just fantastic. Let me bring you in here. To do there we go so we're gonna roll them around now that rub is definitely sticking which is exactly what we wanted to see the nice thing about this cast iron you can cook them on all sides almost like a sear you really seal in those juices which is a big deal with these short beef ribs you definitely want them to be a juicy retain as much of that juice as possible I'm gonna pull them together just a little bit here. And then you know what time it is? It's more rub time, that's what time it is. Just a little drizzle here and there. We're gonna coat and coat and coat these things because that black truffle <laughs> is gonna be deadly mixed up with the beef and the fat and the smoke. This is gonna be amazing. Now we're gonna let these roll probably another hour, hour and a half. Then I'll come and start checking temp. At some point, we're gonna tent them for a bit or wrap them up and then finish them off 
They're going to be awesome. Thank you very much for tuning in. All right, you can see we're definitely coming to the end of our cook here. They're stiffening up. They're getting that beautiful bone pull on them. I'm probably going to wrap them soon, just for fun. I'm going to wrap them, and I'm going to throw a little bit of beef broth in there. A little bit of beef broth, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be a good time. I love that bone pull on those bones. The way it peels back, that lets me know all the fat is, is finally processing and leaking out a bit. And they're not burning, and that rub has really sucked on there. The black truffle, I can't wait for this. This is going to be deadly. All right. We're coming to the end of the cook here. These guys are definitely tightened up. The bone's showing, everything's fantastic. I mixed up some beef broth with a bit of Warshire, right? I'm gonna toss this in here, drizzle them over there a little bit. Mm. There we go. Hot cast, right, hot cast. That's how it's gonna go. Now I'm gonna roll them over one more time. Roll them over one more time, there we go. Getting everybody happy and them juices, and them juices and that broth, right? And we're gonna take her one last time, one last time with that beautiful Sasquatch barbecue rub. Nice little finishing touch of sprinkle there. Nice little sprinkle, and now we're gonna take our heavy duty tin foil. Oh yeah, and we're gonna sneak up on her. We have her the old one too. There we go. There she is, nice, tight, wrap. We're gonna let that buck for another half hour before we serve her, let it rest. It is what it is, this is gonna be fantastic. Pull off the bone, juicy. You wait and see. Thanks for following along. And here we go. We let it ride for about an hour with that broth. The broth is done. She soaked her, oh, there she goes. Look, at, let me bring you in here. She soaked her up just perfect. There she is, look at that. Look at that, soaked it up just perfect. Oh, like look at, look at how tender that is. Okay, tender, juicy, fall apart. I'm gonna pull one of these off. Give me two minutes, let it rest, and then I'll give you a bite video. That's what we're gonna do. There she is. She's rested for about five minutes. Take a look at that. Look at how juicy and soft, pull that bone out, just like that, oh, look at that. Boom, there's the bone, look at the juice. Look at all the, oh, sorry, there we go. Look at the juice, look at how beautiful that is. Oh, that's fantastic. Let me just pull this out a bit here, while you stare at that, that's beautiful, 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 there we go, and ready. That's it. Smoky, beefy, the light hit of truffle, the beautiful bark, the bone pull, everything. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Click subscribe. Keep checking it out. Deadly stuff all the time. This was an awesome cook. Thank you.